Hey Aquas, I hope y'all are doing good today on this Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. Um, this is Phoenix Angel 888 coming to you with another reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Please like, subscribe, comment, as well as share so we can get the messages out for those who need it. Um, as well as I thank each and every one of you and appreciate you all for being here on this Saturday evening here. So, today is May 11th, so I decided to look up that angel number. And it says, your determination to be a light to the world is making a difference in the hearts of those who need it most. Keep up the good work. So, that totally... Uh, resonates with the download that I got um, as I was driving my daughter to the park um, at this time you may be feeling discouraged uh, 505 is uh, pointing out as well I'm gonna read that one you may be feeling discouraged about a certain situation or a lot of things um, going on in your life at this time but the divine wants you to know that everything is going to be okay just trust the process and let things flow you may be well aquarians we are a fixed sign um so we may be trying to control everything the divine doesn't want us to control every anything they want us to take the take our hands off of the wheel and let them do it everything is happening like this and playing out like this for a reason trust it okay just trust it I know that's that's crazy for us Aquarians. We're like, uh-uh, nope, 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 nope. Pause, hit the brakes. 202 on the clock, hit the brakes, baby. No, the divine is saying, y'all hit the brakes. We have to hit the brakes. Everything is okay. Chill out. So 505 on here, trust in the changes you feel you are guided to make as these are God-led. You have the capacity to manifest abundance, believe it. So you could have been feeling like you, you set yourself back, but the reason why the changes of you feeling like you set yourself back two, three, four on the clock is because it wasn't written properly. It wasn't written properly. Whatever you did was not written properly. Whatever you manifested, I'm hearing a year or two years ago, it was not written properly. So you have to go over it and rewrite it again. So we're gonna see what this what this what was written. What what was not written properly. Oh please like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. I appreciate all of you for doing that. So let's see. What was let's see. What would be the best? Let's get the car. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which deck to use. Help me out, Spirit. Which deck? Okay. Hope y'all are doing good today. What do y'all have planned for Mother's Day? Drop it down in the comments what your plans are for Mother's Day. I plan on surprising my mom. Um, I'm going to do her her nails and her feet for her. I'm going to give her a little pampering. I'm going to do it myself because I ain't trying to spend no money. And it's not love if you just pay for it. At least that's how I see it. 424 on the clock. The keeper of scale of scales, fair and balanced. Okay, so something you written was not fair or it wasn't balanced, or something that was written uh wasn't fair and now it's being rewritten. Let me see if I can pull this seat back a little bit more. Uh this it looks like this is as far as it goes. Okay. All right.
somebody may about to get um, either proposed to or go to like a dance or something. Um, I'm seeing a, a woman in a tux. I mean, not a woman in a tux. A man in a tux and a woman in a beautiful. She had a turquoise green uh, dress on. It was so pretty. Okay. Spirit, what wasn't, what was written, what was written wrong? What did the Aquarius write wrong? We got the resting tree. Patience and stillness. So, 22. Okay, okay. Well, that fits us Aquarians to the T. We didn't have patience about something. 555 five, five on the clock. So, now you're, you're, having to learn how to do patient how to be patient all over again you could be getting back in nature as well so you could be uh, grounding yourself and um, tapping into your inner child which is also helping you to learn patience what else was, was not written correctly we got award accept your well-earned praise okay well yeah that makes sense okay so you didn't have patience when it came to this award that was coming in or with you having patience now the award oh okay okay so you're running out of patience you running out of patience is rewriting things what is this assistance and control the horse king so somebody could have tried to control something i just heard destiny so somebody a horse king tried to control your destiny or give you assistance on something and it's backfiring so now it has to be rewritten again Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here giving the message. Okay, yeah, ceremony. Okay, so this could have been like a wedding. Like I said, uh, somebody could have been about to get proposed to. Ceremony. Honor how far you've come. Pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. I feel like these weeds right here, I feel like these are uh, people that was in, um, it could be people that were in the middle. You've came a long way. And so I feel like these weeds, you're plucking the weeds because a lot of people could have been in the middle of this connection, this award that you were supposed to get. And so, now you have to go back and you have to, I just heard cut the heads off the snakes. Yeah, plucking the weeds. So, getting everything out of your circle that does not fit. So, you're only accepting those around you that are of the same vibration as you. Procrastination. So, you're no longer procrastinating about something. Or this is what this is what you're doing right now. You're procrastinating about a gift and a ceremony, or somebody is pro procrastinating about a gift. What is this procrastination here? This that's this way too many. One card, please. What is this? Still one card. One card, please. What is this? The high lady, love and compassion. Reverence, kindness, consideration. So you consider these people. You're you're waking up to the sabotage is what I just heard. One card, spirit, please. What is this procrastination card here for Aquarius? What is this procrastination? Thank you. The fire prince. Optimism and aggression. Somebody's trying to hold back anger. And aggression when it comes to this they're trying to see what you're going to do but they're very they're somebody has a lot of passion for you 
and you've had patience. The patience is running thin, I just heard. So this person could be hinting something to you, but then like it's going over your head. So this person is not having their, um, they're lacking patience at this point. They're about to try to come back in is what I just heard. I just heard reverend me up. I don't know what that means. So you could be dealing with the reverend or like somebody in the church. What is this fire prince here? What is the fire prince here? The dragon's duel. Inner conflict, morality, conscious choice. Yeah. Okay. This could be you, Aquarius, because we are a fixed sign. Uh, we could have made a conscious choice of something. And uh, you feel like it set you back. But then again, it's in divine timing. It was supposed, it was written to happen like this. And it brings aggression inside of you to, oh, you, there's, okay. So there's the project that you're supposed to be starting and you're supposed to be using the frustration and the anger that you have inside built up for this situation on whatever project you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to use it as fuel, but you're just letting it simmer. You're trying to let it die down and it's not supposed to. That's what I just heard. Don't shoot the messenger. What is this simmer? What is this simmer that, that the divine is talking about? What is this simmer spirit? The ice queen. Ideas preserve non-action entitlement. Yeah. Why are you preserving your gifts and your ideas? You're not supposed to be. No, 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 no. We are supposed to be sharing our gifts and doing it. We cannot procrastinate on this anymore. Party. Yeah. Celebrate yourself. It's time for you to walk by yourself at this time. Spread your wings and fly airplane. Express the ocean of your emotion. So... Somebody could be getting, um, okay, so I'm getting it two different ways. You could be growing, your patience could be growing thin on a situation and, or there is a person that is, their patience is growing thin when it comes to this situation. I feel like if you don't, okay, so I'm getting, if you don't start that project now, um, it's going to alter whatever is supposed to be happening you're supposed to start it yeah angelic help the winged wise ones angelic help mystery miraculous aid so the divine is coming in to aid you at this time yeah you gotta have positive expectations and clarity so you're gaining clarity about a situation and the divine is helping you at this time you gotta move accordingly is what i just heard with this positive expressions you have the clarity on something, but you're still you still have to show the positive in things because it's not time to flow yet. It's not time to move or don't make don't make the decision just yet. Music, yeah, sing the song of your soul and dance to your unique rhythm. So you could just be choosing to be um going to solitude and be by yourself listening to music. And that's going to help bring this back. You could have, somebody could have lost the baby. My condolences. We have baby here in reverse. Okay. All right. So what lesson, what lesson is the Aquarius supposed to learn out of this situation? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What lessons did the Aquarius need to learn from this situation? I just heard communication is the biggest uh, lesson that needs to be heard. Um, being able to be more vulnerable and um, trust. There is one specific person um, that you may feel that you can't trust, but that's actually the person that you need to be trusting i just heard that's the only person you need to be trusting 
because the others are the weeds. So you could only, okay, so if you're going on a journey and it's going to the next chapter, 15, 15 on the clock, there is only one person that you can take on this journey. And I feel like I spoke on that um, a few a few readings ago. I think four or five readings ago. I'm going to have to go back and look. Um, yeah, I talked about that on there like sometimes you'll have to go on your, you know on the journey by yourself but I feel like there's one in particular this could be a twin flame or a twin ray um that is either coming in or that's already in your life or a soulmate a divine soulmate that was sent to aid you um to aid you in this lifetime it's like a um uh, a physical angelic bodyguard, pretty much. 1606 on the clock. Yeah, child advocates champion. So this person could be like you could have um you could have met this person when you were a child. <coughs> Excuse me. And this person was sent to be your your bodyguard, like your uh, your defense. Um, I'm hearing like quarterback, like play fucking football in this bitch. A linebacker, a quarterback. What's up, baby? Are you serious? Okay. Can you come with me to go in there? Yeah, where's that? Okay. I'll be right back, y'all.